Hey everybody, it's the Pitch Fanatic here with a recap vid. I uh, went uh, down to the local LCS today, picked up a couple of things, plus I also have a mail day here too to show you. Um, <clears throat> I'll just I'll start off with uh, a couple of packs uh, I broke. I decided to break a couple of packs of Be a Player 0910 uh, Upper Deck Hockey. And in the first pack, I got a Nathan McIver auto for the Vancouver Canucks. Um, obviously not going to keep this, I'm going to move it, because I don't really collect hockey, but I uh, just decided to uh, grab a couple packs and, you know, see what happens. Uh, second pack, I pulled a Jonas Hiller uh, for the Ducks. Uh, not bad auto, and I believe he's the starting goalie for uh, the Anaheim Ducks anyway, so that wasn't too bad. And then I decided to pick up a pack of, one pack of non-rush classics. Uh, just to help him move the one pack that he had left uh, out of one of his open boxes. <clears throat> Ended up getting, uh, it's a Ricky Auto of Riley Cooper for the Eagles. And this one's out of, let's see here, $4.99. $4.54, $4.99. So, that was okay. But I'll probably move it over to an Eagles fan. And also picked up something from my Yankees PC. Uh, he had a fellow bring in some old cards, and uh, one of them happened to be a 55 Bowman Whitey Ford, which is actually in fairly decent shape. And there it is right there. Uh, the color is really nice. Uh, I'm not sure if this video will capture it all that well. But the color is really nice. Uh, three solid corners. Uh, the only corner that has a bit of rounding is this one right here. But overall, it's a solid card. Uh, pretty well centered. And the back is really clean, too. Um, and he gave it to me for a really good deal, so uh, I decided to pick that up for my Yankees PC. So that was really cool. <clears throat> Plus, I picked up two packs of uh, Topps Tribute 2010. Uh, my LCS guy wanted me to break it at the store, but I said, no, i got to save it for the vid. So that the guys uh, who are my subscribers can actually see me break this stuff live. So I was a little bit disappointed I didn't break it at the store, but, you know, I saved it for you guys, so I'm going to break it a little later. Um, but right now I'll show you my... Uh, mail day from the bay. I got off. Of, I got a, just got this off of a gentleman in Indiana, <laughs> and uh, I'll show you what the card is. Uh, pretty sick card. I normally wouldn't pick up uh, a card of this nature for my PC, but it is going to be a PC card. Um, and it's actually not of the Yankees or Lincecum or anything like that. It's actually of the Blue Jays. Yes, it's the Blue Jays. I had to pick it up because, uh, you know, it's Canada's team, and I don't really support the Jays, uh, per se, but, uh, like I said, it is something that I wanted to pick up, and it's just darn nasty, so, <clears throat> I will show you all, it's from 07 UD Black, and it's a, well, that's the back side of it, it's a Vernon Wells Triple Patch Auto out of 5. And I'll sh when I flip it over, you'll see why it's nasty. I'll just take it out of the sleeve here, because I'm going to put it in a magnetic anyway. Um, there there you have it. There's the auto right there. Uh, where's the 4 out of 5? 4 out of 5 is right where my thumb is, but probably won't pick up too well. But if you look at the patches, they're just dirty. The T has a three-color patch uh, with uh, two or three breaks in it. The O has like one, two, three, four, four colors. It's got black, blue, white, and silver on onto the right side here. You can barely see it, but there's silver there too. And then this, the R, is made up of an A, and then some other crazy breaks. So the A is from, I guess, from the J's maybe, or something else, maybe a, a shoulder emblem or something like that. But it's just sick. I mean, if you look at the colors here, like the breaks, just, just nasty. And I was like, wow. I had to pick up this card for my PC. Um, so yeah, it's just plain dirty. Uh, anyway, hope you guys like that, and I'll put it in a, in a, into a magnetic afterwards. <clears throat> right now, I'm going to bust these packs. Let's see how uh, I do here for these top tribute packs. I'll take pack number one, and well, away we go. Let's get, hopefully get some mojo here. Okay, and I believe the the good card's gonna be on the second last card here. Oh, look at that! 
So an Ichiro Suzuki 205 uh, Blue Refractor. That should be, well, it's not numbered, but it's a Blue Refractor. Oh, yes, it is numbered right on the front there. Couldn't see it. It's actually numbered at 399. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, what do we got here? We got a base card of, oh, Fat Albert, Albert Pujols. There we go. Oh, would you look at that? A Lincecum 205 base. Uh, that'll go right into my Linscom PC, so that's pretty cool. Like that. Next, we've got a red Shedden Heist. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Right uh, for the cards. That's a base, I believe. Now, I'll do the slide. Let's see what we got here. Cards out of 75. It's a Philly. Oh. It's Steve Carlton. Blue Refractor single bat piece. So there we go. That's the first first hit of the first pack. Not bad, not bad. So certainly alright. I'll move on to the last pack of tribute here. Okay, Let's see here we got a looks like a parallel uh, out of 99 of Tony Gwynn. I guess it's the black and white uh, version, and it's out of 99. It's not bad. Oh, look at that. A T205 Jackie Robinson. That's pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. And we've got a base of Ryan Braun. There we go. And then we got uh, Obama versus McCain base. And let's see what we got here. We got, <clears throat> let's see, it's a black, looks like a black refractor of Rogers Hornsby bat. Well, didn't get any autos in these two packs, but it's okay. I still think I did pretty good. Steve Carlton, Rogers Hornsby. Can't complain about that. So there we have it. So that's the two tops tribute packs. Plus the uh, nasty looking triple patch of Vernon Walls. Plus the auto from 07 UD Black. Anyways, thanks guys for watching and uh, take care. We'll see you later.